Hi everyone, this is the video for Gemini Moon. So Gemini Moons um, are very social. They're very quick-witted, usually pretty clever, and they're either really funny themselves or they, they like funny things or enjoy jokes or um, enjoy comedies. People that are witty as well, so they might have friends that are, wit are witty if they themselves aren't really funny. Um, <coughs> They're very lively, they're chatty, they like to be sort of constantly busy, they're very busy people. Um, they have a lot of different interests, they're very um, social, so social butterflies. And um, they like to have a lot of acquaintances, so um, they have a lot of friends and, um, you know, they can, they can be very, they can get along with a lot of different people. Um, they have a really strong need to express um, their emotions in an intellectual fashion. So... Um, they have a lot of ideas and abstraction. Um, sometimes they have this amazing way of making connections between um, certain ideas and certain facts or certain ideas that other people might not naturally think of and might not seem like a natural progression, but for them um, it's actually very easy for them to, to make these sorts of connections. Um, in relationships they really need um, someone who they can have a mental, um, intellectual rapport with. That's really important to them. Um, sorry, I'm just referring to my notes. Uh, they can they can also be hard to pin down emotionally. So if they're, just as an example, if they're in a new relationship and um, they're getting to know this person and the other person feels a really strong connection to them and starts getting maybe a bit clingy or a bit claustrophobic you know, or giving that sort of vibe that I really want to be with you. The Gemini Moon, it just won't it won't sort of sit well with them unless they have really, really strong feelings. But they, see the Gemini Moon's a bit tricky because they like to keep their options open. They might have an infatuation with someone, but it's almost like they always have in the back of their mind someone else that is a potential partner or, unless of course they've met their true soulmate, then that might be a different sort of story. But in general, they're very open, um, they're not going to make up their mind instantaneously about whether they like someone. Um, well, they, well, not whether they like them, but whether they want to be with that person in a serious um, long-term relationship. So, um, yeah, so they're very intellectual. They're very cool in their disposition. They're not prone to huge emotional displays. They are emotional, but in a different way. It's in an intellectual way. So they process their emotions through the mind and um, through their ideas and their thoughts. So it's not, for them, it's not a real gut level primal emotion. It's more of a detached um, cerebral processing of the emotions, if that makes sense. Um, they have a lot going on in their minds. Um, it's Mercury, I forgot to say, I think. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if I said that. No, I didn't say that. That um, Gemini uh, is ruled by the planet Mercury and um, it's a mutable sign. So mutable meaning changeable. They are very changeable. Um, they can change their minds all the time and, you know, to, to a Gemini moon that makes complete sense because the world around them is constantly changing and so their ideas will be constantly changing and in flux and, you know, they um, they might even feel like they feel like a different person from, um, a, you know, on a different day of the week. So, yeah, they're just, they're very, they're very changeable like that. And, um, Sometimes some issues that they can have um, would revolve around not being able to see the big picture or a deeper a deeper level of wisdom um, and also avoiding emotions. So as I said, they're processing emotions through the mind so much that they might actually be avoiding really feeling their emotions on a deeper level. Um, so that can sometimes, you know, it can sometimes become a problem. Um, they are, <laughs> they have an element about them which might on the surface sound similar to an Aries moon that they have this sort of youthful um, essence about them, but it's different with the Gemini moon. It's more like a Peter Pan syndrome where, you know, forever young sort of, and they feel that on a, on a, on a deeper level within themselves. So they're not going to um, be bogged down by this idea of, um, you know, getting old and like feeling burdened by that. They just they have this youth, in a, in a wellspring of youth that's just always there and they have a light touch about them. They're very light and they're sensitive um, people. They don't sort of gel well with really intense, in-your-face, um, demanding uh, people. 
they need their own space to sort of work things out mentally. Um, so um, with relationships again, they love to meet new people, they do enjoy the thrill of a new relationship um, and if, if it is somebody that they really, really, truly feel a connection with, then they will um, be able to eventually settle down, but they are a bit evasive, so they can be hard to get a commitment from in that regard. Unless, of course, there's other things in their chart, like, you know, Saturnian influences, Capricorn, Taurus, you know, Scorpio, that sort of thing. Um, they don't do well with jealous uh, partners because um, they, just, they just have a, a tendency to want to break away from that. Um, instantly, uh, so possessive or jealous partners they probably don't cope with that well. And also a partner that is that way inclined probably would find a Gemini moon difficult because Geminis are very social, they want to interact with lots of different people, they can be flirtatious, they're very light, um, you know, they, they're they not just going to sit with their partner and not look at anyone else or just focus purely on, you know, they're always interested in what's going on around them. Um, they'll probably uh, also be interested in things like reading, um, following news reports, communication. Communication is a, a huge thing, obviously being ruled by Mercury. Um, it's all about communication for a Gemini moon, so they have a very strong need to communicate their emotions to others. Um, but as I said, the way they do that is very light, it's very intellectual, um, and it's, 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 you know, a bit factual, it's also... They like a debate as well, um, they like to put their opinions out there, um, they're probably into all sorts of social media, all that sort of thing. Um, and I think in terms of, say, a parent, for example, you know, if um, your mother or father has a Gemini moon, they'll be very, um, very busy people, I'd say, and they'd have a lot of their own interests. They're not going to be sort of watching their child um, obsessively and they're not going to be a big sort of really clingy parent, they're going to let their child have their own space and they're going to enjoy fun things with their child and be on that, almost like a friend to the, to the, to the child in some ways. Um, there's going to be that element there anyway. Um, and I think I'm going to wrap it up there. That's pretty much what I had to say about the Gemini moon. Um, and if you're a Gemini moon and you think of anything else, feel free to add it um, or have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching everyone.